Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. In this video, I am starting with a new chapter. So, I am solving the problem number 4.1 in this video. Okay. So, the problem is consider the combinational circuit shown in figure problem number 4.1. That means this problem number 4.1 is within the chapter itself. Now we have to consider this circuit. Here we are given with some wires T1, T2, T3, T4 and T5. Okay. And the outputs are F1 and F2. Okay. Now the problems are given below. First of all, we have to derive the Boolean expressions for T1 to T4. That means we have to find out T1, T2, T3 and T4. And then we have to evaluate the outputs F1 and F2 as a function of the four inputs. That means after finding out T1, T2, T3 and T4, we have to find out F1 and F2. This is the circuit given. So let us find out. So first of all, we can see that these are the three, four inputs A, B, C and D. So here we can see that A is connected here. So here we will get A, A is the input of this gate. Okay, here we have B, so inverter here we will get B bar here. Okay, similarly A is connected here with throw an inverter, so we will get here A bar. Okay, and we have C here, this is directly connected. Okay, and this one is B. Okay, so here at the output of this gate, we will get T1. Okay, so the T1 value will be the N operation between B bar and C, so we will get here b bar c that means t1 is the b bar c t2 we have to find out by multiplication of the inputs so a bar b so t2 will be a bar b then we have to find out t3 t3 is the addition of these two so t3 is equal to a plus this one t1 t1 is the b bar c b bar c okay so we have got this t3 and for finding out t4 we have to find out this XOR operation. So T4 will be one input is A bar B and another input is D. So A bar B XOR with D. Okay. So this is the T4. And T5 is the OR operation between T2 and D. So here we'll get T5 is equal to, we'll get here A bar B plus D. Okay. So here we can see that F1 is the addition of T3 and T4. So you can write it as T3 plus T4. So we have got this Boolean expressions. Okay, so now let us write down one by one. So we have already obtained that T1 equal to, so T1 value is B bar C, T2 value is A bar B. So T1 is equal to B bar C, comma, T2 equal to A bar B. Okay, and T3 equal to, T3 we can see that A plus B bar C. T3 is the A plus B bar C. So T3 we can write it as A plus B bar C. Now we have to find out the T4. So T4 is the XOR operation between A bar B XOR D. So let us expand this. So A bar B whole bar into D plus A bar B D bar because in case of XOR operation, if it is the if we have A XOR B, then we will get A bar B plus A B bar. Okay, so this is nothing but the XOR operation between A bar B and D. Okay, suppose this is one term and this is another term, so we have got this one. So from here, we can see that using De Morgan's theorem, we will get A plus B bar all into D plus A bar B D bar. So here we will get A D plus B b bar d plus a bar b d bar okay so this is the expression for t4 then we have to evaluate the outputs f1 and f2 that means we have to find out the values of or the boolean expressions for f1 and f2 so we have already seen f1 is equal to t3 plus t4 here we have already seen this f1 is the addition of or the or operation between t3 and t4 Okay, T3 is this one and T4 is this one. Okay, so we'll replace the T3 and T4 values. A plus B bar C plus A D plus B bar D plus A bar B D bar. And from here, suppose if we consider these two terms, what we'll get? A if we take common 1 plus D. 
plus this is b bar c b bar d plus a bar b d bar okay or these are the complements this is one plus this one so we'll have a plus suppose we take this term a bar b d bar and we are left with b bar c plus b bar d if we assume it to be a plus bc form it is suppose c a plus this one is b this is c so we can write it as we can expand it as a plus a bar all into a plus b d bar plus b bar c plus b bar d now we can see that this is nothing but one so we'll get a plus b d bar plus b bar c plus b bar d so this is the expression for f1 okay then we have to write the expression for f2 so f2 equal to sorry here we do not have a complement okay here we do not have a complement okay so f2 we have to find out as it is this uh, complement is not there so we can write it as t5 equal to f2 so f2 equal to t5 and t5 the value is a bar b plus d so this is the t5 value okay we have got the expressions for t1 t2 t3 t4 and f1 f2 so this is the first part of the problem so now we have solved the first part of the problem that means it is the first part solution then we have to find out the second part in the second part of the problem we have to make the truth table okay so we have four inputs so this is second part solution b a b c and d these are the four inputs and accordingly we have to find out t1 t2 t3 t4 okay and then we have to find out f1 and f2 so for four type four number of inputs a b c and d will have 16 number of combinations let me first write down okay these are the 16 combinations okay now we have to use the formulas of the we have already obtained these formulas for t1 and t2 okay just you have to use these formulas to find out the values of t1 t2 t3 and t4 so let me directly write down these values And for the T4, we have, we'll get these values. Okay, so we have got up to T1, T2, T3, and T4. And similarly, using the same Boolean expressions we, we have obtained in part A, we'll find out F1 and F2. Okay, so we have got this truth table. So, the second part of the problem is complete now so in the second part of the problem we have to list the truth table with 16 binary combinations of the four input variables that means we have to use this uh, four input variables a b c and d okay and we have to find out the 16 combinations and make the truth table for t1 t2 t3 and t4 and the outputs f1 and f2 okay now this part is complete so we have made this truth table so in the third part we have to plot the boolean output functions obtained in part b on maps that means we have to use four variable map and we have to show that the simplified boolean expressions is equivalent to ones obtained in a now we have to use k maps for plotting this f1 and f2 and we have to find out the boolean expressions and from that we have to compare it with part a now in the part C we have to make the K maps for F1 and F2. Map for F1. Okay. So we have four input variables. Okay. Now we'll put this F1 values. Okay, this F1 column we have to put here in this table. So in F1 we have 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, then we have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Then we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 
one 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 okay so this is the four variable map for f1 so f1 we have to write here f1 equal to so this will be one term so this will be another term okay this will be second term suppose suppose this is the third term okay suppose this is the fourth term so we have covered all these values so f from this to row we can write it as it is a okay from this term we can write it as it is a and from this term okay we can write it that is this b b and d bar b d bar okay from this this term this combination will get b d bar so from this term what will get will get b bar d plus b bar d and from this combination suppose this one combination will get it is c b b bar c b bar b bar c or plus b bar c so from the first part we if we compare f1 is a plus b d bar a plus b d bar plus b bar c plus b bar d plus b bar c plus b bar d so we have obtained that the first part boolean expression for f1 is same as that obtained from the four variable map so map for f2 now we have to make the four variable map for f2 so for f2 we have 0 1 0 1 so for f2 we have 0 1 0 1 this column we have to put okay so in this in this map we have to put 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 then we have to put 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 then we have 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 from this map we can combine like this this will be one term or this is one one term we will get from this combination and from this combination we will get the second term okay this is simple so f2 we can write it as from this column we'll get d plus from this term we'll get a bar b a bar b now if we compare this f2 with the obtained with this one so a bar b plus d so a bar b plus d so this is same as obtained from part a okay so this is the solution of the problem number 4.1 from the chapter number 4 Okay, thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.